Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about more developments in the iOS 12 jailbreak world. As many know, the iOS 12 jailbreak is still in beta while the main developer Pwn works on adding more device support. Today we have some awesome updates for the iPhone 5S, 6, 6 plus users, as well as the iPhone 10S, 10S Max, and 10R device owners as well. So this and more in today's video. Well, before we start, like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Also, don't forget to bookmark our jailbreak status checker pages if you're waiting for your device to be supported. We have separate ones for A7 and A8 devices, as well as one for A12. Now, these pages are dynamically updated and will change the second the jailbreak utility is updated to support these new devices. All right, well, let's jump directly into things and start off with some of the latest news from Pwn to Own. He's back at it again, changing his name on Twitter. Now it reads, Pwn to Own is experimenting with Uncover for A12 devices. Wait, what? I was stoked to see this news that he's now working on A12, but I was also like, what happened to A7 and A8 support? Well, this reply in this thread explains it best. It sounds like there's a bug in Substrate that needs to be updated directly by Sorg for things to work properly. Pwn states, waiting for Sorg to fix the bug. He's busy, but you should wait for him. So it sounds like once this bug is fixed, A7 and A8 support is all but confirmed at this point in time. Also, Beta 38 of the Uncovered Jailbreak was released yesterday, adding further stability to the exploit used for those devices on Uncover. So it sounds like the front end work by Pwn is done for those devices. He's just waiting for Sora to update Substrate so it works correctly, but he's now shifting his main focus towards A12 devices like the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. Well, in other great A12 news, it sounds like the developer of the rootless jailbreak, Jake James, has successfully got code injection running on the iPhone 10s Max. He shared his utility with SparkDev, a tweak developer, and he's managed to get a couple simple tweaks running like this keyboard tweak just fine. Now, it sounds like there are a few more things that need fine tuning, but we can probably expect a rootless jailbreak to be released soon for A12 devices. Now, let us know down below if you'd like us to cover more information on the rootless jailbreak if it happens to come out before Uncover for A12. Anyhow, that is the latest news, guys. Definitely give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited to jailbreak your iPhone XS in the near future. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.